Welcome to Pages Past. Today's myth comes from India and tries to explain the creation of the world. From time to time, the universe dissolves. Everything falls into silence and watery darkness. All things, all beings, and all ideas fall into the great boundless oneness of the god Brahma. In the beginning, Brahma slept upon the waters of nothingness. Who knows how many ages he slept? When he awoke, he wanted to create something. He took the form of a giant boar and dived deep into the watery darkness. There, Earth woke and prayed to her lord, begging him to rescue her from the darkness. With his tusks, Brahma carried Earth to the surface of the waters, where she floated like a great boat. Brahma, the lord of creation, then divided the land into seven continents. He put the mountains in their proper places. Brahma has four arms, four faces, and four mouths. From him, the four kinds of being arose. The Asuras, the demons, came from his thighs. The Devas, the god of light, arose next, exhaled from Brahma's mouth. The Petris, the ancestors, rushed from Brahma's sides, filling the world. Finally came the humans. Brahma produced four kinds of humans. The Brahmins, religious leaders and scholars, emerged from the Creator's mouth. The catch. The, <laughs> this one's a hard one to pronounce. The Kshatriyas, rulers, nobles, and warriors, came from his arms. The Visyas, farmers, landowners, traders, and moneylenders, flowed from his thighs. And last, from Brahma's feet came the Shudras, artists and laborers. Who can sing all the wonders Brahma created from his divine body? From his mouth came speech, which allowed people to reveal their thoughts and hear the thoughts of others. From Brahma's unknowable mind flowed the Vedas, the sacred books, bringing history and guidance. From his tongue flowed Amrita, the milk of life that animates all living things. From his nose, the stars and the sky took shape, providing signposts for travelers and a canopy for all living things. The sun and heavens emerged from the pupils of his eyes to warn and watch over us. His ears produced places of worship so that there might be dignity and places to honor the gods. Clouds and rain flowed from his hair to water and nourish the soil. When all things had again been assigned their proper place, Brahma, the creator, resumed, assumed the form of Vishnu, the preserver. Lord Vishnu, like the roots of a mighty tree, supports, nourishes, and preserves all. He governs the universe and is the inward nature of every element within it. And so it shall be until Vishnu transforms into Shiva, the destroyer, who will bring fire to devour the universe. Then all things will again fall into silence and a watery darkness upon which Brahma will sleep. What creation myths do you know? <laughs>